Hi viewers, good day. Welcome to vSparks. Today we are going to see what is container engine and what do you mean by docker. If you like this video, please subscribe to vSparks channel and click the bell icon for the latest updates. This is the agenda of this video. We are going to discuss on these topics in this video. What is a container engine? A container engine is a software that runs and manages the components required to run the containers. Docker, Rocket, Cryo, LXD are the notable container engines in the market. Actually, it is not the container engine who runs the container. It is the container runtime which runs the containers once the instructions are passed from the container engine. Container runtime interacts with the OS kernel in order to accomplish this task. Typically, the container engine is responsible for handling the inputs from a CLI or from an API server. It manages the container images, preparing the container mount point and the metadata, and finally, calling the container runtime itself to give the instructions. Let us see a bit more about container runtime in the next slide. A container runtime is a low-level component typically used in container engine that actually runs the containers. Mostly, the container runtime is responsible for interacting with the OS kernel to start the containerized processes, receive instructions from the container engine to consume metadata, mount points, etc setting up namespaces and C groups. If you don't know these terminologies, no worries, we will discuss the same in the later slides. Basically, container runtimes are classified into two types. First is a OCI, that is Open Container Initiative, which is a native or low-level runtime. To name some, we have RunC, Rocket, Docker, and Podman, etc. Second is CRI, that is Container Runtime Initiatives, which is a high-level runtime. To name few, we have Container D and Cryo, or the popular ones. The basic difference between these two types is that the CRI type, that is the Container Runtime Initiatives, is an advanced one with more features. This CRI type is widely used in the Kubernetes world. By now, you would have known what is a container engine and a container runtime. Now we will discuss what is Docker. Docker is an open container platform for running your applications in an isolated environment called containers. Docker is an open source project started in the year 2013 and it has drived a rising trend in containerization and microservices in the software development. Docker helps you to separate the applications from your infrastructure so that there won't be any dependency between the infrastructure and the application. Of course, build and run anywhere is a concept here. Docker is originally built for Linux, but today it can run on Windows and Mac OS as well. Docker is actually released in two different editions. First is the community edition or the free edition and second is the enterprise edition. What is the technology that is behind Docker? Actually, Docker is written in Go programming language and it takes the advantage of several Linux kernel features to deliver its functionality. It uses the Linux kernel technology called namespaces and C groups or the control groups to build and run the containers. These two technologies provides a layer of isolation. What is a namespace and control group? Or it is also referred as C groups. Basically, namespaces and C groups are the two main Linux kernel feature that is driving containers. Namespaces provides an isolated workspace for a set of processes. 
these processes will not be available to the rest of the operating system. For example, in this picture, you see the process number 1, 2, 3 and 4 are the common processes that is running in the Linux operating system, which will be accessible across the operating system. Whereas you see the process number 5 and number 6 that is created within the namespace are not available to the rest of the world. This indicates that the namespace provides an isolated environment within the OS itself. C groups is also a Linux kernel feature to limit, inspect and account the resource usage for set of processes. The below picture shows how C group is involved to limit the resources like CPU, memory and other resources for the processes number 5 and 6 in this picture. This is already isolated from the other processes using the terminology called namespace. These Linux kernel features such as namespaces and C groups actually paved the way to the development of containers. Same is described in this picture. To manage and run the containers, obviously we need a buddy called as container engine. Now we will discuss about the architecture of Docker. Docker actually uses a client server architecture and it has these building blocks within it. That is Docker client, Docker host, Docker registry, images and containers. The Docker client is the primary way that many users interact with the Docker. A Docker host is a machine where the Docker engine is installed and running on the Linux operating system. A Docker registry is a type of storage which stores Docker images. Docker hub is a public registry that anyone can use. By default, Docker is configured to look for the images on the Docker Hub. An image is a read-only template with instructions for creating a container. You can create your own images or you can use those created by others that are published in the Docker Hub registry. To build your own image, you have to write a step-by-step -step instruction in a file called as Docker file. A container is a runnable instance of an image. You can create, start, stop, move or delete a container using Docker APIs or CLI commands. When you use a command such as docker pull, the client sends these commands to the docker D daemon which then executes it. In this case, we are pulling an nginx image from the docker hub to the local registry. The corresponding image is already present in the local registry, the docker daemon ignores to pull it from the docker hub again. Similarly, docker run command runs a container from the image that is passed to the CLI. In this case, the container image is already present in the local registry and that's why the docker daemon ignores to pull it from the docker hub registry. Docker build command is used to build a docker image from a docker file. Well, that's all about the architecture. This is the summary that we have discussed so far in this video. Thank you from vSparks and thank you for watching this video.